Approximately 60% of Bolivians live below the poverty line. In rural areas, 3 out of every 4 people living in these areas suffer from poverty. Although with a long history of political unrest, the country has made economic strides in recent years. However, child labor still remains a reality. In Bolivia, the official minimum working age is 14, in line with international labor conventions in developing countries, with two exemptions. For children aged between 10 and 12, work is allowed if they attend school, are self-employed, and get parental permission. And from 12, children can do work for others. Cochabamba is a city in central Bolivia, located in a valley bearing the same name in the Andes mountain. The Cochabamba Youth Project, also known as Hermano Manolo Center, works for and with children and young people involved in child labor in the city, providing them with a place of safety and educational opportunities. At the center, they are encouraged to remain in or return to school and are given access to computers, assistance with homework and opportunities for recreational activities. The center not only works with the children and young people, but also with their families. Workshops in parenting and communication skills are provided monthly at the center for these families. Over the years, since the center opened, the main challenge has been to guide young people away from a life of crime or substance abuse. But recently, we have found another challenge, which has to do with further education. All of them lack of these opportunities. Now we are looking for ways of helping them to pursue a third level education. Mi nombre es Orlando. Aquí en mi casa vivimos seis hermanos. Trabajo en, en nuestra, casa, nuestra casa y mis dos hermanos también. Trabajo para, para comprar mis cosas y ayudar a mi familia. Yo trabajo todas las mañanas en la terminal de buses hasta las 10 de la mañana. Yo he trabajado desde mis 9 años. He trabajado vendiendo cuñapés, lustrando zapatos y en costura. Yo vengo después de mi trabajo al centro de mano a mano, recibo apoyo escolar, ella, ella, ellos me explican, me preparan para mi exposición. Eh, los educadores visitan mi casa para, para, para preguntar a mis papás de, mi, de mis estudios. Y a mi colegio para preguntar a mis asesores cómo estoy en el colegio. Estoy convencido que con toda dedicación y esmero se puede lograr. Yo quiero esforzarme para ser alguien en la vida. Creo en mis capacidades y habilidades. En el Centro Hermano Manolo, cada día nos hablan de que tenemos que apostar en nuestros sueños. Middleton CBS is a Catholic school in the Edmund Rice tradition. As part of our efforts to uh, engage our students in uh, social action and in the spiritual search, we have developed the Edmund Rice Outreach Project here in the school. This involves students engaging in a 10-week program in preparation for an activity or action which in the past number of years has been to climb Crow Patrick, our sacred mountain here in Ireland, and to cycle the Great Western Greenway between Westport and Ackle Island return. As part of our partnership with various schools around the world, we're developing our links with uh, Cochabamba in Bolivia. We have already ties to the Mary Rice Center, which is in Kabira in Nairobi. It's 10 years since the first group of students from Middleton CBS travelled to Calcutta in India to participate in that and we've developed very strong links with particularly St George's School there. This year our chosen project is the CHEM project, the Centro Hermano Manolo in Cochabamba in Bolivia. My name is Eddie McArdle, Christian brother in Cochabamba. 
working in the Centre of Man and Manolo project. I'm at home on holidays at the moment. And one of the highlights of my time here has been a visit to Middleton. We had a Skype connection and it was absolutely fabulous to see the connection between the children in Cochabamba and the boys in Middleton CBS. Just today we have been involved in a Skype with the centre. It was a tremendous experience for the pupils, I think, on both sides, but particularly for the pupils of Middleton CBS. He, he works, his name is Juan Carlos, yeah. he lives in Cochabamba and he's 13 years old. Obviously going up the mountain was tough, but it wasn't going to be as tough as what they got through at times over in Cochabamba. Um, what I got out of it was I was proud of myself, I suppose, and then you see today when we Skype the lads that they are so happy with what they have. Okay, lads, you give a wave there. Right.